Hello my viewers. Yes, uh, as you can see I'm wearing uh, the, uh, the old aluminum hat and it's not necessarily to keep waves from Alpha Centauri from beaming into my brain or anything like that. It's mainly from the, to, to prevent uh, rays from beaming into my head. Yeah, well, this is what I had left over when I stapled the radiant barrier up in my attic. And uh, more about that is right now. So here's what I'm working on right now. Just putting some radiant barrier up here. Uh, as you see, I have a truss type of uh, roof construction and uh, the 48 inch pieces are very difficult to use. 28 inch in my uh, attic here is probably best. All right, and what I have to do here is I have to cut this to 28 inches wide because they don't sell radiant barrier foil 28 inches wide. They sell it to 48 and 24, so I got a 48 inch uh, roll here, and I'm going to cut it to 28. <laughs> There are certain things that I have found that I will not do for money. And, uh, well, this is one thing that I have found that I won't do for money, is climb up in an attic and staple radiant barrier, because that is hard work. If you don't think that you have the health to do so, you may want to hire uh, somebody to do it. <clears throat> Radiant barriers come in all sorts of types and for different applications. And here's some pictures that I took at our local Lowe's store. It's one of the big box stores that are, is here in Florida. And uh, of course they, they make uh, uh, radiant barrier OSB sheathing and, and radiant barrier foam, uh, different things, just about everything's coming in radiant barrier. Now even if you take a good look at a lot of your candy wrappers, it's got a radiant barrier in it. So this is nothing new. I'm not going to waste time talking too much about radiant barriers. I'm posting some links down below where you can watch some more videos on how to install radiant barriers and things like that. Here it is. Do-it-yourself radiant barrier. This is the stuff on the box. It's in a roll of a thousand feet and it's made in America. This is some really durable stuff though it is easy to cut with a razor knife. Uh, here you can see it cuts very easy. Right. Yet somehow it's extremely durable. You really can't rip it by hand. Of course, I'm nowhere near finished here. Got quite a bit to go or well maybe not that much but enough to it you know <laughs> where it's kind of dreading it's a lot of work so there's where I'm at now you know you don't have to make it all really leak tight really to for it to be effective uh, it doesn't take a lot of engineering or anything to staple this stuff up but it does take some health you know you you have to be able to climb around 
your attic without uh, getting hurt or anything like that. Stapling radiant barrier in your attic does require being kind of flexible because there are some very difficult to get to spaces in most attics. All right, now you may ask, why would a normal human being want to go up in their attic and staple the stuff up in the rafters? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. Uh, the answer is, energy efficiency. Uh, you can take a 130 degree attic or what would normally be 130 degrees and make it into about 90 degrees. So that means, well, the upside is your energy cost would be lower. Uh, and also the fact that if you ever had to go work in your, up in your attic, it would be a lot you know, uh, cooler for you while you were up there.